Yep. What's up, guys? Cool clown gentleman here, back from the deck profile for Hat for Matt. This time we have Car Curry Synchro. Let's go. All right, Plus let's, Mike's let's, easy, I guess. Cool. let's get into it. All right. So for the Car Curries, we play three Merchant. Um, he's basically the the Stratos for the deck. Uh, really solid. Um, and the level of him actually does matter too. That he's the non-tuner. He helps you make um, the three monsters. Uh, we play then three of. You know, I don't even know these guys' names, but three of this dude. Um, he's just a level and basically a machine dupe target. That's the, that's the main thing for him. Uh, key thing about him is he just can't remember a battle once. Um, sometimes it comes up, but more so he's just there for levels. Uh, the Probably the best starter of the deck. Like, well, not starter, but basically, you know, you need her. Uh, Nishapashi or Nishi? No, Nishi, yeah. Uh, she gives you the extra normal summon for a car curry monster. So basically her plus any name usually lets you start going up the chain. So she's really solid. We love her. Um, yeah, and then we play three uh, Nishapashi. This is Nishapashi. Uh, he basically on summon changes the battle position of a monster mandatory effect, so you can use that to trigger your uh, your car carry cards like Barreto, Anatomy, or you can do it to like change your opponent's monsters if you want them in defense or attack position. Especially if they're like face on, you could switch them up to attack, see what you're dealing with. So he's really cool. Um, also, these are all machine dupe targets so far. Really nice. Uh, for non machine dupe targets, we have. Uh, it's also non-tuner. We have three Hypas. Hypa is 21 on attack, switches to defense at the end of the battle phase if he attacks. Uh, he's really good for just getting over stuff, and he's just like one of the main non-tuners. Uh, for the one of, kind of the bricks one that we don't want to draw, these are the ones you summon from the deck. We have one Saiza, the doggy. Uh, he's just a level level four tuner. We play the uh, Sizen? Sazan? Sangkung? I don't know. Uh, we'll he, he's basically a manager bug, but really, he's just a level 3 non tuner. That's the key thing. He, he lets me make um, usually uh, an interior bar key on. And then we play the level 5, which just helps me extend more into more burritos, usually, and whatnot. Um, that's a. Uh, man, these things have names. Not a shik. So, yeah, that is the car curry engine. Um, it's pretty. I would say it's pretty good. I wouldn't want to change anything. I like all the ones that I play. And taking advantage of machine duplication, which is at three, is pretty nuts. Uh, for this, we have Solar Wind Jammer. Um, so I was playing this originally in Tengu Plant, and or the deck, I should say, but um, there's not a good level five to bring out other than like um, with Insta Fusion. So there was Cyber Dragon, but Cyber Dragon's only for going second. So Solar Wind Jammer came out on Abyss Rising, and he uh, accomplishes that for going second. If you don't control monsters, you can special summon them. He's a level five machine, it's perfect. Um, and then the last um, monster I play in the deck is a uh, three mock and a fortress. So I found sometimes I needed a way to get monsters into the graveyard to extend because all the extenders in Kara Curry are usually the synchros or spell cards that you can't search. So I needed something that would like just put a body on the field, but more or less just get monsters into the graveyard so I can act bring them back with like Soul Charge or Iron Call. Okay, that's the monsters. On to the spells. We play only one anatomy. Anatomy is basically United... Uh, the six Samurai United, where you basically, if you summon two, draw two. This is basically, if you change two bits of battle positions to the car curry, you can send it to the graveyard draw two. Um, I was playing three of this and three uh, cash, cash, or car curry cash, which was like the Rota, but cash isn't so good because it you can only you have to target one you control, so you have to like summon one, then target it, then switch it to then search, then switch to battle position. So it's a little slow. Um, so I just cut it all, all together. I might try it back in, maybe even as a one off to search off merchant because merchant search any car curry card, which is crazy. Uh, then we play three MST um, just to, for the format to deal with back row. Uh, for the uh, really good extenders, we play three machine duplication, obviously. Uh, it hits so many cards in the deck and it just lets you fill up the field, which is crazy. It lets you pop, pop off. Uh, three instant fusion. Uh, card is nuts. Let's me basically summon a level five machine boy to make some cool uh, synchro plays. And then obviously three soul charge because we are trying to uh, summon back as many guys and make a decently unbreakable board. Um, and then three iron calls, which is basically if I control machine, I can target level four or less in the graveyard, summon it, and it gets effects. Uh, nine once per turn, basically monster reborn at the end of the day. So this is where I wanted mocking a fortress to kind of put monsters in the grave for these two, or if I got stopped, or if I just like, you know, only had merchant search, and then I don't have like anything to keep going because I didn't have the Nishi for the extra normal summon. I needed some way to get them into the graveyard, summon them back, and then I can start synchro summoning. Um, and back fortress is just a really good card in general. Yeah. For any machine deck. Yes, sir. So that's a 40 card main deck. For the extra deck, we play uh, Cataster. Cataster is just a good level 5 to go into if I'm not making beefs. Another key part is he actually is a machine, which helps for making the um, the Karakuris, which uh, need machine non-tuners to make. So sometimes I can go, if I don't want to just make beasts and salt, sometimes I want to keep going, I'll make this first and then sync up into a Beret or Burrito. 
Uh, for the Terriers, we play the Warren Beast, Warren Barkion. I had the levels to make them pretty easily, usually focusing Beast um, for going first, unless I know the matchup where they play mostly traps, then I'll definitely try to get a Barkion or both. Um, it's pretty hard to get both, usually I gotta focus one or the other. Um, for the other Synchros, we play the 3 Beret and 3 Burrito, uh, level 7, level 8. Perfect, perfect. Um, basically, on Synchro Summon, they summon a card here from the deck, so they're just basically extenders on legs. Um, and then this can basically change the battle position of a monster. Sometimes it comes up, and then it's one when the battle position of a card carry is changed, I can draw one card once per turn. So you can kind of use him to trigger him. Um, otherwise, uh, Nishapashi, the one that changed the battle position on someone, the level 3, uh, he can trigger uh, Burrito as well. And I don't think I needed that. Uh, and then since these usually don't do anything after you get the draw and switch and whatever, I usually use these for XYZ Father. And then the last one I play is Leo. So it's pretty easy to make because I can summon like a level 3 tuner or a level 2 tuner and make Leo. Leo can't be targeted except they're in my main phase too. So it's just kind of cool. And 3100 is a pretty good beat stick. I could play starter 2 potentially, but um, room's kind of tight. For XYZ options, which I really like the addition of XYZs in this deck, it definitely gave me more plays than when I was playing Tengu Plant where I could only do Synchros, as I'm playing one Draco Sack and one Big Eye. Um, really good for going first, obviously good for going second. And then Felgrand, really good for going first, like just one of the best breaks in the format. Like, And then for going second, the Heliopolis. Because sometimes I just have a bunch of monsters stuck in my hand, so he's really good for clean boards. And then the uh, Cyber Source for uh, Institution. Um, yeah. So deck's pretty good. That's another cool thing about the Cyber Source is Institution. Considered a proper summon, so I can bring this back with uh, Full Charge. Uh, that's basically the deck. Um, it's really fun when it pops off. I can usually end on, at best, um, if I saw like things like Soul Charge. I could do like Draco Sack with two tokens, Felgrand with the two materials, and then like an Interior Beast, which I mean like, that's basically, you know, like Draco Sack is chilling, I got the Felgrand for an interruption, and then the Nat Beast to stop all spells. Or I could replace the Nat Beast with the Barkeon to stop all traps. Like it's pretty crazy, and then you'll have follow up too. Yeah. Um, so deck can usually play through a lot of stuff depending on your hand. Like again, the problem is the deck, a lot of the extenders are unsearchable, so if you only open up the Terrier Monsters, and you don't open an Nishi for an extra normal summon, uh, usually just like setting one pass and it's kind of rough, but um, but then potentially you can since the format's kind of slow You can just pop off the next turn uh, Side deck cards you could play trap zone would be really good because this is a deck kind of like infernity where you can um, Play it slow at the beginning if you need to flip traps on and then just go off crazy and go for an OTK Because this deck can OTK really easily um, Very easy. Uh, another cards you could play, you could play obviously like hand traps like Maxi, Valor, DD Crow. You don't want to play too many because you don't want to take away from the combo, but you could definitely at least afford like maybe three to six slots uh, for maybe like going first cards. If you want to play like other than traps on maybe it's like more disruptive, you could play like um, they are mostly all Earth, so you could play a card like Gozen if that's even good, or maybe even Rivalry because like mostly all machines. Those are ideas. Um, but yeah, the formats. The deck's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, you guys should definitely give it a try if you have a chance on like Duelingberg or something. The deck is just pops the heck off and it's so fun. All right, this is Clean Cabin of the Jets. Thanks for watching. Bye.